you know, if you're trying to figure out where to ply your trade as a villain, where you can rob the most banks, well, it seems somewhat logical that you'd kind of avoid Metropolis if you could because Superman's a tough cookie, you know? Gotham is hell. Gotham is the worst possible urban disaster in, in American history. And for the conceit of Batman to work, it has to be from the ground up. I think that a lot of criminals look at it as like uh, the big game, you know, the, the, the big time. If I can move up to Gotham, if I can get myself a costume and maybe some powers and a gimmick, and uh, I, I can be the next guy in town. So while Batman serves as sort of like a lightning rod for madness and villainy and so on, he's also a rallying cry for those good hearts. I think when you have a character like Batman who operates at the edge of legality and the edge of sanity, when you're dealing with that kind of character, then that sort of evokes the kinds of characters that would get sort of caught in that web. This is a guy who's going to use his wits and his powers of deduction and his mind to catch a villain. And so you have the opposite of that with the villains who most of them would rather catch and beat Batman and destroy him in a psychological way than they would to kill him or to harm him. Because if you can stop the detective from figuring out what your plan is, then how much smarter are you than he is?